Bet you don't know about the Raikiel. This is the t-shirt bottle of the fragrance game. Let's get to it. Every time I spray on my cologne, spray on my cologne, spray on my cologne, spray on my cologne. She be like, boy, what you got on? Hey YouTube fragrance family, welcome to another Robes 08 fragrance review. Today is on a little known fragrance house in our YouTube fragrance community called Sonia Raikiel and the scent called Raikiel Um. Let's get to it. Raikiel Um hit the shelves in 1999. Bottle sizes that are available, there are minis kicking around of uh, 7.5 milliliters. There's also 2.5 ounce and the bottle that I have is the mega big bottle, the 4.2 ounce bottle. Concentration, the one in this review is Eau de Parfum and there is also an Eau de Toilette concentration. Flankers, there is one which is Raquel um, Grey, so the grey t-shirt of the game. Now as far as pricing and availability, this is a discontinued scent. The pricing uh, will vary. Um, right now online I'm looking at it, it's around $70 to $120 to purchase a bottle of this. Uh, as far as availability, the Eau de Parfum is getting uh, harder and harder to find, but the Eau de Toilette version is much easier to procure. Looking at the presentation, let's start with the box here. Uh, as you can see, just black box. It says Eau de Parfum. It's a 4.2 ounce uh, bottle. Um, there's not much detail to the box. Exact same thing on this side. Nothing at the top. And then you have your ingredients and your information at the bottom of the box. Now moving on to the bottle. The bottle shape is very unique and it is an ode to the uh, pullover that Sonia Raquel is known for, their signature knitwear. So that is the reason for kind of like the t-shirt looking vibe to the bottle. You can see the nameplate here, very nicely done. It is flush to the bottle. Um, it says Raquel um, Paris right here. Um, if I turn the thing around, um, you're gonna see that there is a curb here, really nicely done. Um, at the bottom, um, you just have a sticker, as you can see, it says Raquel Am Eau de Parfum. And at the top, we got the SR of the cap. Now, look now looking at the atomizer, let's see what we get. Not too bad. The behind the Raquel Am is Jean-Marie Saint-Antoni. This is his only men's fragrance um, from my research, and he has only made truly just a handful of scents in his career. Um, this is uh, my first impression of a Jean-Marie uh, fragrance. So I'm really intrigued, uh, especially from a nose that I don't know much about, um, to see if the fragrance is going to be a great uh, shot in the dark in regards to the resume or a flop. As you can see from the note breakdown beside me here, a um, very fresh composition as far as the notes go. Um, there's some florals here, some citruses, um, so it's going to be a very uplifting scent. There is a little bit of depth here in the base, as you can see, sandalwood, vanilla, vetiver, and styrax, so um, those will give depth to uh, Raikiel. Um, major notes to my nose, grapefruit, violet leaf, yuzu, nutmeg, fig leaf, and styrax. Group Aromatic Fougeard. How many sprays and where? I go one on the chest, two on the neck, bam, bam, thank you, ma'am, and two on the arms right here. If I'm wearing a t-shirt, I am set. Five sprays. So talking about sprays, let's spray this sucker. And I'm gonna let you guys know from top to bottom, this is just gonna remind me of the initial uh, top of this fragrance. It is my scent of the day today. I actually did my five sprays this morning before doing this review. So. Off the top, uh, Raikiel um, really opens up with uh, lots of uplifting notes, guys. Um, you get the green that really dominates this scent, and that's going to be the theme of this fragrance. I think it's more of a green scent than anything. However, the citruses, like the yuzu, the grapefruit, really do shine in this fragrance. Um, they're very juicy. They're well-constructed, talking about the citruses. However, they're not really that authentic, but that's okay for what you pay for. I wasn't really expecting something huge here from Raikiel. Um, the greens, like the violet leaf, the vetiver, and the mint take over the scent, which also help that uplifting effect. Um, most, mostly the mint and the violet leaf in this opening, and then the vetiver more into the dry down, keeps that green theme 
alive. Um, you're also met with some sweetness in this fragrance, um, which will appeal to a lot of, uh, we'll say, uh, teenagers or people that do love sweetness in their fragrances. It has a small hint of spice here, um, which is paired with the greens and the citruses, which I would say, um, really, the Styrax has a huge, huge part in this fragrance, and it really does put everything together. The mint is very minimal. You guys know that I love mint in my fragrances. However, the mint does have an effect on the Raikia um, uh, for the overall opening of this scent. It also gives it an uplifting uh, manner to the fragrance, which keeps that theme alive, but also uh, kind of gives you that green tinge to the fragrance also. Overall, this opening is very well balanced and it is very well constructed. Now moving on, the opening of the scent um, truly does not last in my opinion. It really is a short-lived opening and you can start smelling almost immediately the mid and base notes start taking over this scent. Mostly there's some nutmeg giving it some much needed spice to the fragrance which really pops in the dry down. Uh, we got vanilla, we got sandalwood, and that Styrax. Uh, jasmine and violet leaf both are in the main aspect of this scent giving it a watery, green, and sweet vibe to the set. So the sweetness from the jasmine and also obviously that watery greenness from the violet leaf. The Styrax is the star of the show, which I said in the opening. Um, it really has, um, really does take over this dry down and it gives this hint a vanillic touch with a touch of spice and some much needed depth. I really truly feel that this scent will lose its appeal that it has uh, currently on some people online um, if we didn't have that Styrax in this fragrance. It really does put everything together. Now Styrax does give off an incense like a cord and many people act actually mentioned it in their fragrance reviews of this scent. I wanted to note that I haven't smelt anything bearing um, incense like note in this fragrance. I never really got that touch of smoke that I'm looking for in incense. It really never showed that. However, um, the Styrax does give me more of a spicy resinous aroma, kind of like Tolu Balsam, somewhere between um, clove, cinnamon, and labdanum. So it really does give some depth and some darkness to Raikiel. Overall, Raikiel um, the Eau de Parfum is a very solid release. That opening at times felt a little cheap to me and almost lost me on every wearing. However, with a little bit of persistence and patience, this scent turns out to be a solid little green scent that uh, really has multiple great facets. Will it be heavily missed in the fragrance community as a discontinued scent? My personal opinion, no. And I'm sure many lovers of this scent have moved on. It's a very pleasant surprise from a little known house in my opinion. I truly enjoyed testing this one. My final take on this scent, recommended age. Um, truly anybody can wear this, uh, mostly for the younger crowd, but I can see someone older wearing it, so that's why I put pretty much everybody. Remind Reminds people of which fragrance. Online, nobody compared this to fragrances that I personally know. However, when I, upon smelling this fragrance early in my journey, I felt like it smelled like Hugo Boss's Hugo, you know, the top selling fragrance in the 90s, and I, I really think that this was built to go against that top seller in the game. Um, they both have green aspects to them, especially these notes, mint and the greens. So it really did make me think of that. So if you did want to kind of smell what this fragrance smells like, they don't have the same composition, but they're very close. I would go and test out Hugo. That is still available to you. Awards on my channel, it has not won any. Best time to wear this fragrance. This was best worn. Uh, during the daytime and casual wear. So I can wear it during the day and night, but casually. You're not going to wear this on a date. Um, I'm not going to wear this upscale. I really felt like it was a jeans and t-shirt type of fragrance. Seasons, um, because of the green aspect in uh, Raikiel Am, um, I would have to go with spring. Spring is where this fragrance will shine. Um, fall is coming here in Canada obviously so um, it is also great for fall I felt like it wasn't just a warm weather fragrance it can be worn as a signature set um, so it does have some depth to it um, so spring fall and also summer nights summer nights worked very very well on me development of this fragrance is it linear average or complex I would go with average um, there isn't much going on it's I, 
I wouldn't say linear. Um, it has a very average development. Work appropriate, yes, depending on the sprays. Um, especially if you're gonna spray this like 20 minutes before you go to work, people are going to, this thing is gonna bombastic your whole <laughs> workstation in the first half hour. Then it really does tame down quite quickly, actually. Uh, signature scent worthy, not anymore. Um, if it was still available, uh, I would say yes. It's just because of its limited availability. I can't really say, hey, this is gonna be a great one for a signature scent worthy, especially the Eau de Parfum edition is very hard to find and the pricing is starting to get up there. So is it signature scent worthy? I would say not anymore. Now, why would you hate it? It is synthetic, um, it is hard to find and truly there's nothing um, that stands out in this fragrance that I have, would have to say. You know, discontinued fragrances, something like M7. There's a reason why I say try to seek out M7 because it is a great fragrance on its own. This is one of those that I wouldn't put the energy or effort uh, to sniff it out. So that's why. Now, why would you love it? What's good about this fragrance? Well, it has a great short-lived yuzu. I didn't really talk too much about the yuzu note in this fragrance, but it is very short-lived and it is very, very well done. Uh, great use of Styrax. I really think that um, it was well blended in Raikiel um, EDP. <laughs> Rating system time, let's go. Split screen baby projection and longevity. Let's start this off on a low point. <laughs> projection four, very light. Like I said earlier in my review, um, my first like 20 minutes of wearing this fragrance, it really feels like it's gonna be projecting like a bomb and it does in the first 20 minutes. After that, Skin Scent Baby, so four out of 10. Longevity, five bottles out of 10. It gives me four to six hours. Sometimes it gives me a little more, sometimes it gives me a little less, but most of the time you're looking at that four to six hours, which is very light for me. Compliment factor, three bottles. Um, really hardly anything. I've worn this in every season. I've worn it to work and people do come up to me. They know I'm the fragrance guy. Man, very lukewarm reception with this one. Green scents really don't do well with me, depending on the green, um, depending on the scent. Um, this, even Hugo doesn't do very well for me as the compliment factor. A lot of people love that scent, but um, really this is not a compliment uh, getter for me. Uniqueness, I'm gonna give it five bottles out of 10. Pricing versus what you get. This is gonna get a three, also a low score. Why? Well, the price, is it justified around 70 to $120? Now it's gonna keep going up. Um, I would say no. People are, I, I wouldn't recommend this as far as pricing goes. You're looking at 70 to $120 is a lot of great cents for that price point. So um, the only people that would really purchase this is if they had a journey with it. Um, you know, there's certain fragrances that I have a journey with, the Mal Boss Bottled, those are purchases. I don't care if they're discontinued, those are purchases for me in the future. It doesn't matter what the price is. So people that have had a journey with this, um, they will pay that price because it's not exorbitant right now. However, um, it is just gonna continue to go up. Versatility, six bottles out of 10. It has versatility to it, so a little higher score here. Smell, again, six bottles out of 10. It's not my favorite scent of all time. Um, it, it's not the, the greatest designer fragrance I've smelled, but it is high up there. I would have to give it smell six, a little above average. And that goes to an overall score. And I can't, um, um, the EDP edition, obviously, is gonna get five bottles out of 10. It really just is average. Um, to me, um, it's well constructed, but at the same time, the discontinuation, the pricing, things like that are a factor. The smell also, um, I really think that this is well worthy of a five, just an average. And that goes to buy, try, or pass, guys. Very easy for me to put this as a pass. Now, to finish this one off, I know there's an overwhelming love for this scent for the people that have smelt it or have had a journey with it, and they may, may not be too happy with the score I gave it. Now, in my testing, I want to note out it is a solid release from the house. However, now it's discontinued. The EDP is very hard to find. Uh, the price for now is around $70 to $120, which is almost high up there and it's just gonna keep going higher. The lack of longevity and projection on my skin is a factor. The compliment factor wasn't there. Um, it was almost pretty much nil as a compliment factor. 
that is the reason why this is getting such a low score and it's getting the pass treatment. Um, it doesn't mean it's a, a horrendous release um, from the house. It is actually pretty decent. Will I be checking out the rest of the brand? Most likely not because of the lukewarm review that I gave at IKEA um, EDP, but I'm happy to have it in my collection. So again, guys, if you have smelt this one or any of the house, you know, the eau de toilette, or the, the gray t-shirt one, um, please comment below. Let us know about this fragrance house. Is there more to discover? Um, do you agree or disagree with me? You can comment below. Say, Mark, you're way off base. Let's see, nine out of 10 for me. Um, I do applaud, you know, people. That is what we're here for, to uh, inform people. And we're not all on the same base as far as uh, um, our opinions. So fragrance family, thank you for watching. Have a good one.